Hi guys, I haven't talked yet in this vlog and it's already 5.07. I started off a little bit late in the day because this morning I spent most of the morning just kind of like cleaning my place. I love to do that in the mornings, listen to music and just be zen and clean because I love to clean. Um, so I did that this morning and then as you guys saw, I went down to the gym and I did a little bit of Pilates, which is like a new thing for me. You can probably tell from the time lapse that I'm still a little awkward with it. This is only my third day doing it, but I've really been liking it and I feel it so much. Like I am so sore all over my body. So I've been combining that with, today I rode the bike after that for 30 minutes as well. And then normally on like weight training days, I'll do Pilates and weight training, which is kind of a lot, but I've been really enjoying the Pilates. It's like a treat to me, but I'm getting off topic here. I did Pilates, I came back here, had a meal prep, I took a shower, I did my hair, I was gonna do my makeup, and I'm like, there's literally no point. Today, I have a lot of schoolwork to do, or I should say tonight. I actually just made a coffee in my kitchen. I'm gonna go get it in a second because I definitely need the extra caffeine. Shut my door, my cat wanted to get out, so I just let her out, but what was I saying? I have a lot of schoolwork to do tonight. Um, I've been kind of putting it off and today's Wednesday and discussion board original posts are due every Thursday for both my courses. Did I even talk about school? I forget like my train of thought is just like all over the place right now but before I forget make sure to subscribe here and thumbs up this video if you guys are new and follow me on Instagram. Now there's a dog barking outside. Lovely but make sure to follow me on Instagram all that good stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy this random vlog. I don't really know what it's gonna be. I kind of want to update you guys on a lot of stuff and just we'll see where this goes i do also want to organize my closet today which we're going to take a look at in a second because i want to get that started while i do some school work because there's some laundry that needs to be done i actually got a call from my advisor earlier today and i don't know why i thought he was calling me about the fact that i haven't done any of the school work yet for this week even though it's not due until tomorrow i was like oh my god is he on to me but he was just <laughs> calling me to say that i have really exceptional grades and i was like well thank you i've been trying i just turned my camera off and turned it back on i felt like there looked like it was like a slight smudge on the camera. I don't know if it was just all in my head, but I wanted to make sure this is better. But I did want to tell you guys a little bit about school real quick, just to start off the intro. I've been getting a lot of questions about if I'm back in school and yes, I am. Um, so I was in school in 2021, the first two terms of 2021. I ended classes at the end of May or beginning of May, end of April. I don't really remember exactly when my courses ended. But after that, I was mentally, like, I just couldn't, I wasn't in 
invested in school. I was still getting good grades, but it was a challenge to get me to take my courses and I just mentally wasn't ready for it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take the summer off. And then in typical Molly fashion, the summer, taking the summer off turned into taking the fall off, turned into taking the winter off, but it's okay. We're back at it now. Um, the way my school works, I take two courses for eight weeks. So it's like a pretty sped up course but that's why you only take two at a time is because it's like, it's pretty quick. Getting towards about the halfway point and I'm pretty sure this week is gonna be really hard. I'm just looking right now, I have 25 days remaining in these courses. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm at like, I'm at like a little over the halfway point and I know that like projects are gonna start being due so it's just gonna get a slight bit more intense which is unlucky for me because I've actually been doing pretty good about uploading on YouTube and like doing brand deals and filming my videos and posting and all these things but then you know the downside of it is that school is lacking a little bit. Every single time I post on Instagram about me taking notes, I get so many questions about how I take notes for school. I'm not gonna take my notes just yet. I'm gonna do that kind of like later on in the night. But yeah, when I do take notes, I will show you guys how I do it a little bit because I get so many questions on it. And I'm like, I do the most simple way, I feel like, of taking notes because there are people out there you guys I'm sure have seen that take notes on their iPad that is like so stunning. I, can, I can't be that person. It just takes too long. But I do think my notes look pretty and they're super organized and I get really good grades in school. School is something that I'm really good at. I don't like to talk about, maybe you guys have noticed, things that I'm actually good at. I'm very like reserved about I don't know, I'm very reserved about those things. I normally point out the negatives about myself more than the positives, but something I've always been good at my whole life is school. Um, you tell me to read a chapter, I retain the information, I take a test, I excel at the test. I've just always kind of been that way. School has always been pretty easy for me. I had really good grades in high school, and then when I went to college in LA, I was at the top of my class, and now I'm doing really well in school. So, you know, I've always been really good at school, so I feel like it's something I'm pretty qualified to talk about and show you guys how I take notes and everything and I think my my notes help me excel in my courses and understand the material a lot better. Honestly, I didn't think that we're required to take notes, but I do. I was just like reading the chapters and then going on to do like the projects and everything. I wouldn't do as well in the courses because I find myself referencing my notes so much when I'm doing discussion posts and all that sort of stuff. So even though it's not required and it definitely takes me a lot longer and hurts my hand a lot more writing all this stuff down it helps me in the long run so it's worth it i'm waiting for um a company to approve a video and i really wanted them to approve it today i thought they were going to because it's almost the end of the month and they wanted it up in march i mean tomorrow's the last day of march but still i was like really kind of expecting them to approve it today and i keep checking my phone every two seconds to see if they have but it's looking like it's gonna be a no because it's already 5.15. But I've been talking for a little bit too long. I feel like I'm just like throwing a lot at you guys. One thing I really wanna do today that I've been putting off for forever is cleaning and organizing my closet. I'm gonna show you it in a second. It is a disaster in there, an absolute disaster, and it needs to be gone through. So we're gonna do that. I feel like I need to go through it right now and kind of like pick out the things that are dirty or that I want to wash so that way I can put them in the laundry and then it shouldn't be that difficult. I might go through and kind of like pick out some things that I want to donate. I don't know. Let me just show you so that way you can see the disaster that is my closet. I'm going to do this before it gets too dark because in my closet, I mean in my office, it's very dark at night, but this is what the disaster is when you open <laughs> the floor is the worst part yeah when you open up my closet it's a walk-in closet that you can't even walk into the irony of that right because i just have everything thrown on the floor these are like over here like all my dunks my fours these are expensive pairs of sneakers if you guys did not know like upwards of 600 dollars per pairs of sneakers and as you can see i have just been throwing things all over the place there's heels under there and um, workout clothes that bow and t sent me all of my sneakers are supposed to be in these boxes right here honestly i'm looking around right now and i'm like where are a certain pair of shoes that i have i have these like green 
mids green jordan mids and i'm like where did they go okay no never mind they're right there they're just hidden under all of this shit this side of my closet was supposed to be for um new pieces that would inspire me to wear like more of my new clothes and now it's just random stuff that i was too i guess lazy to put back where it was supposed to go like look at that hanger just like that you know what, you guys, I just, I really thought this was going to be the year that I was going to be super organized. It started off so promising in this closet, and now it looks like this. Um, I also bought these bins the other day at Target. I meant to vlog that day, but I didn't like the way I looked, and I cried, so then I didn't vlog. I don't know, I didn't feel like getting anything too expensive, and I feel like these will suit the purpose. I want to put, like, excess, um... What's it called? Excess workout clothes and maybe some sweatshirts and stuff in here that I know I'm not going to wear that often, but I still want to keep. There's that, I guess. I'm going to go through all of this and kind of pick out anything like up there, maybe up there that needs to go in the laundry and put that in the washing machine first. So that way we can like deal with what is actually gonna be in here for now. It's a mess and I'm embarrassed because <laughs> on the outside, my apartments look so clean and pristine. But behind all the doors to all the closets and pantries and skincare cabinets, it looks like this. The stuff in this red bag is actually from stuff that I was given for Christmas that I just haven't gone through. Hello, um, I set the camera up here. Hopefully this is okay. Also, I put these little clips in my hair. They're supposed to be meant for when you do your makeup, but my hair is getting on my last nerve today. So I just wanted to push it out of my face. And this is the best way I can do that with extensions in. So this is what we're working with. I'm not gonna say it looks great, but it's already looking a lot better. I put all of my sneakers away. Yeah, I have one empty space down there, which means I can buy another pair of sneakers, but all of these little cubes are from the container store. They come in like a white slash clear, and then I got the black, of course. You buy them, I believe it's in packs of six, and I think they're like 60 bucks a piece, so like it's $10 a box, but if you have like a lot of nice sneakers, 
like I do, then, I mean, my collection's not even that big, but if you have a lot of sneakers, I highly recommend investing in these just because they'll keep them, if you do it properly, unlike me, and not just leave them on the floor, it'll keep them in really good condition, keep them from creasing, you know, if you're not wearing them that often. I always saw people get these and I wondered where they were from and then I found them at the container store. Yeah, I guess I'll go through and quickly show you guys a little sneaker collection. I've never worn these ones just because I don't wear a lot of purple but low top dunks are my favorite at the moment just because they're so comfortable like they just they feel so comfortable on your feet so I love those I also have these Michigan dunks down here I've worn these once because I feel like you can't really wear them with that much like you need to have the perfect shade of yellow I honestly really don't have that much navy but like I guess navy would look good with it um, I wore them once with like some light denim and a white top and it was super cute But like I don't really know what other type of outfits I could wear those with I'll have to like look up inspo because I've only gotten one wear out of those and then down here some of my favorites These are high top dunks. Um, I believe these are like the Syracuse high top dunks I love these. The ones that are low top are so expensive, um, but the high top version is really expensive too. It's just that the high top was a little bit cheaper and they had them in my size at Courtside Kicks. You guys know I always go to Courtside Kicks in Natick Mall. I've been going there for like a year now and I love them so much. If you're in Massachusetts, go to Natick Mall and go to Courtside Kicks if you want to get a nice pair of sneakers because the boys who own it are super young and I love supporting them because they are just like killing it. I don't know, I feel good supporting a business where I know the people who own it and I know how hard they're working towards their goals. So it just like, it's good vibes in there. So if you need a pair of sneakers, go to Courtside Kicks. You can tell them that I sent you and I believe they'll give you a discount on your purchase if you say like Molly sent me in. Anyways, I've never worn these ones either. I actually won these on StockX. I don't know what the name of them is, but they have like a bright orange bottom, gold and yellow. I don't know how I'm gonna wear these, but it was one of those things where I, not StockX, what did I win these on? The sneakers app. I mean, I've never won anything else since, but of course I went on these ones that I didn't even really necessarily want. I was like, you know what, I'll just enter the draw just to see, and I ended up winning. So yeah, I've had these for a while, just never wore them. Maybe I'll wear them this summer. I need to go through this quicker because I've been talking too much, but I think one of my best investments that I've made is on these dunks right here. These are the Panda dunks, I believe. I love these. Wear them so often. Literally, like I said, one of the best purchases I've made because I've definitely got my money's worth out of those. These two pairs right here are actually the first two pairs of sneakers that I bought. These are, are these the UNC? Yeah, I believe these are the UNC ones. I actually wear those a lot too. I really like ones too, but I like dunks a little bit more at the moment. And then these ones down here, I forget what these are called. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really remember what these are called, but these are cute. Just like a silver and black Jordan 1. Lastly, in this row, these were the ones I was looking for. These are called the Dutch Green Mids. I know mids have like a bad rep, but I think that these are so cute. Like green and pink. And I have a Prada bag that matches like this light green right here perfectly. So it's just like a fun little fit whenever I wear those. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're almost done. These are all my fours. So I have... This pair, you guys can see, it's hard to get the fours out. These are like a UNC, so the same school as these ones, but these are just the fours version. These were like really popular last year. And then these are the taupe haze. They kind of have like a bright, yeah, you can see a bright neon color, but they're like a, a brown, brown and black. And then the last pair, I actually wear these ones a lot too. Honestly, these ones could probably use a little bit of cleaning, but these are... Oh, I have no idea. I think it's something like retro, but these are fours. And as you can see, they're just red, black, and white, so they go with a lot more. Yeah, I feel like I definitely get my use out of those ones as well. But yeah, that is my whole sneaker collection. I really want to get more. I really want green. I know I showed you guys these ones down here, but I want like a, like, um, what are they called? Like the pine green ones. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted. Oh, red, like just plain red sneakers would be nice too. I want to stop getting like the same colors over and over again and get some different ones. So I'm going to show you guys in a second out there. I have like a pile of stuff that needs to be washed. So I think I'm going to do that while I work on some school stuff. Unfortunately, it's like I've been putting off this closet, like cleaning it for so long. But now that I'm doing it, I'm putting off school because I want to just keep doing it. <laughs> school got to be done. So we're going to start taking notes for at least one of the courses. And I'll show you guys out there. I have like 
a pile of stuff that I think I'm going to put in one of those bins. I don't know what I'm going to fill those bins with. Honestly, I just bought them, I think, to buy them because I was at Target and I felt like spending money. I have, like, clearly way too many hoodies that I will probably never wear, but some of them I just don't want to part with for some reason. So maybe I'll put some of those in some of the boxes. We'll have to see. But for now, this looks so much better. I can at least, like, sit in here. This right here, the black boxes are underneath it. This is all workout stuff mostly that Bo and T sent me. They sent me like an entire collection, you guys. It was like 17 different workout outfits and I haven't even gone through all of them yet and worn them. So this is like the surplus that I haven't worn yet. This I need to go through because it's Christmas gifts that I still have not put away that my mom and my sister got me. This is my donation pile so far. I'm just gonna donate anything that I don't want instead of selling it or anything because it's just not worth it. So I'll be donating some things and this is what I have so far, one sweater, but hopefully I can make a good dent in my closet to free up some space because there is none. I have no hangers left, which means I need to get rid of some stuff. And then lastly, we have the pile of clothes that need to go in the laundry. So I'm gonna bring these to the washing machine right now. Also, do you guys think I look like tanner? I self-tanned yesterday and I always feel like self-tanner like comes off of me so fast, but it actually still looks pretty good. I think I might put on another coat tonight. I did put self tanner on my face a little bit as well, but I just feel like I get nervous because it goes on clear and then it starts to show up more and more throughout the day and I'm like, is it starting to look crazy? But I do look a little bit tanner and I loved it today when I worked out in my shorts. I was like, wow, I actually look tan. Like it felt good. I used the Saint Tropez in extra dark. I found it in my, um, I was gonna say my pantry, my cabinet, and I was like, wow, I didn't even know I had this. And it actually worked out better than like any tan I've been using <laughs> recently, so love that. I was just like looking at myself and I was like, I look tan. Also, one last thing before I forget, you guys are gonna have to let me know, what do you think I should do with my hair next appointment? My next appointment is in, it's like mid-May, and I don't know <laughs> what I wanna do because my hairstylist thinks I should just like continue it for a couple more months because basically the extensions that I have are really expensive and like really expensive, like a designer handbag expensive. So she thinks that I should just keep using them until they run out. Basically, you can only use these hair extensions for a year and then you have to buy new ones anyways. So she's like, you should just get your money's worth out of these ones and then we can switch up the color. But I'm like kind of tired of it and I really wanna go lighter. I think for summer, I don't know if I want to do like a strawberry blonde or if I want to do like a honey blonde where it's kind of like a little brown mix with blondes. That way it's not like completely damaging to my hair. I don't know. I just miss like a lighter hair color because this is honestly pretty dark. It's darker than I've ever been obviously in my entire life. I've always been blonde. So when I look at myself sometimes it still feels like I have a wig on. It still just feels weird. And now I'm starting to think that when I do go back like blonder or if I do strawberry blonde, whatever, I feel like that's gonna also feel like I have a wig on because I'm not used to it anymore. But yeah, I'm just thinking out loud, but you guys should let me know what hair color do you think I should do next? And don't say black because it would not look good on me. I promise you. Everyone, so I just got back from the grocery store. It was kind of spur of the moment, but I was out of a couple things. Like I don't have really any proteins like chicken or fish or anything like that. And then I needed counter disinfectant spray and almond milk and eggs and I ended up getting a lot more than I planned as you can see there is a lot on the counter so I know you guys love grocery hauls and I figured I might as well share it with you guys and then in a little bit I'm gonna make dinner I still haven't done anything for school it's getting bad I need to do it like ASAP but I also need to eat so hence the grocery haul starting off over here this is all the produce and random stuff this is the counter spray that I use I got mouthwash toothpaste because I was out of those as well two salad kits um, some Mexican style cheese which I'm going to use tonight some pineapple because something about pineapple has just been hitting so different lately like it is like candy it's insane um, parsley and cilantro. I got a tomato, some red onion, three avocados. This is my favorite replacement of sour cream and I just ran out. The Oikos 25 grams of protein, some protein peanut butter, green chilies. Let's see, I got three limes, two lemons, three new bell peppers. Also excuse the dishes, I'm gonna do them in a second. Um, also some almond milk. I ran out pretty quick because this one's so small, but they don't have 
the one that I normally get at the grocery store. So I had to get that one again. I got so many tortillas because there isn't many in these mission protein ones, but I use these all the time. And I have like two of them because they're really low calorie. So I go through them so fast. And then I got some flour tortillas and soft corn tortillas for tonight's meal. I'm gonna make like a healthy-ish crunch wrap supreme and it should be really good. And then let's see, I got two jalapenos, a bunch of eggs because I've been going through these so fast too. And then over here on the stove, I put um, all the proteins. So I got salmon and I got a lot of it because I got two pounds because it was on sale like crazy. As you can see, the original price, 27.02. I paid $16.58, like that's insane. I got some ground chicken for tonight's meal. I've been loving turkey bacon, so I got some of that. And then some chicken tenderloins. And then over here is two different types of bread, which I use for different purposes. I like the Dave's bread when I'm having like two slices. And then I like the sourdough bread when I'm having avocado toast because nothing hits as good as sourdough bread. I wanted to make that pretty quick because I didn't want the haul to take up like 10 minutes of the video, but that's everything I got. My cats are playing with some toys that I got them, but I'm gonna put everything away and then make dinner in a little bit, which is like I said, it's gonna be like a healthy crunch wrap supreme that I saw on TikTok, which is where I see pretty much everything <laughs> these days. I burnt my hand. This is my second attempt. The first one I thought was terrible and it ended up being worse. And now I'm working on this one and I don't even know what to do. Like my hand is killing me. It's foggy in here because I feel like I'm burning things. Follow the TikTok to a T that this couple made. I don't know if they're being deceitful or if food is just humbling me for once, but I cannot figure out for the life of me what I'm doing wrong and why it's like that. I'm still gonna eat it and I'm gonna dip it in the guac that I made because this is gonna be delicious, but yeah, this was a fail.
angle is okay for you guys for me to go over everything i'm gonna zoom in when i can i was gonna screen record but i feel like it's more comfortable for me at least to go through it real time with you guys and be able to just do it like this with my hands the app i use to take notes is called good notes i'm pretty positive i bought it a while ago but i'm almost positive it is free in the app store so that's always nice um, I like to create little folders for different things so like work related stuff, tax related stuff is in a different folder and then I have school stuff in this folder and like I said this is my first couple courses that I've ever taken notes on the iPad before and honestly I don't think I will ever go back. I always thought I wasn't like a digital person and I really liked handwriting things but once I started getting comfortable Taking notes on the iPad is so much easier. The fact that I can, you know, undo things super quickly instead of like having to erase something or if like you wrote something in pen, you can't erase it, you have to cross it out. This is so easy. Like anything you want to change, you can do that. You can even like go back in and perfect your notes later on. And what I love the most about this, I think, is that the notes that are on here, like these two little notebooks right here and everything else that I write in good notes, it automatically transfers over to my phone and it's also not like a typical notebook where if you lost your notebook like your notes are gone these are with you forever as long as you have an iCloud and you don't lose your iPad before you back it up like these are with you forever which I love so like I said I split these up into two notebooks because it's two different courses the two courses that I'm taking this term is leading in business and applied marketing strategies so I'm gonna just gonna try and find like a good page that I took notes on that kind of like showcases a lot of what I'm talking about. I guess this page is pretty good. Let's see, we'll start off at the beginning. So this was for module four. I always write down the learning objectives, what the chapter is about, and then I get started. So if this is a chapter that I'm reading, the first section of the chapter was called the pricing framework, which I wrote right here, the pricing framework. And I always highlight everything. Actually, let me go through my settings really quickly with you guys, just in case. So in the pen setting, I use the fountain pen and then it's 50-50 for both of the percentages, just so you guys know, because I feel like that does make a difference. And it took me a little while to like figure out what pencil I liked writing with the most. And then I always use the highlight tool. I highlight the chapters, I highlight the sections of the chapters, and then the light pink is um, keywords or like, what are they called? I guess keywords, like vocab words of the chapter. Um, and for the highlighter tool, I have it set to draw in a straight line. It's basically the best thing ever. Like say I wanted to highlight right here, but then I kind of went under a little bit and then I went over. It straightens it out into a perfectly straight line, which makes me so much happier than opposed to it being all messy. And then I'm trying to think of the only other things that I really use on this is this little shapes tool right here. So if I'm using this tool and I just draw a line and kind of hold it, it'll make a perfectly straight line. You can do this for shapes too. Like if I wanted to do a circle, well, this is probably gonna do an oval yeah but you know you get what i'm saying it makes shapes perfectly symmetrical but yeah that's the gist of everything that i use in here and then also for the highlights um as for colors i save all of the colors that i use on a regular basis because i have my classes color coordinated this course applied marketing strategies is kind of like the pink vibes and then since you guys can see i have all these blue ones here that is for my leading in business class. I don't know, I just kind of wanted to have like different highlight colors for different classes, totally not necessary. And lastly, I'm just gonna go over how I take notes. I learned how to do this when I was in middle school with a history teacher. He was super old school and he really drilled into our brains um, how to take notes like this. And it stuck with me ever since. It stuck with me all throughout high school, all throughout college in LA in real estate school and now I just always have taken notes this exact same way. So like I said, this is the first section of this chapter, the pricing framework. So I always write that out. And then I start off with a number one. You can see here, it's just a regular one with a period. And then I write down like the first sentence that I find important. And then basically the reason why it goes down to A is because this is something to do with that first sentence. It kind of like is the same paragraph or maybe the same subject whatever it may be it goes down into a if it was something completely unrelated to number one we would just move on to number two but since it's related to number one we put a and then this little one right here this has to do with a it is still has to do with one but it mostly has to do with what i'm being but what i'm writing out in a so that's why it goes down into one if it didn't have anything to do with a but it still had something to do with one we would go to b 
Hopefully that makes sense. And then you can see I go on to two and say that there was something, I don't think I have anything on this page, say that there was something that had to do with this one right here that was like a subcategory of what I wrote right here. All right, my pen was like super thick, but we would do A with an apostrophe and then write out whatever it is right there. If it had to do with this number one right here, um, I'm gonna show you an example of like a time that I went really, well, here's an example of like, see, B, 1, A, goes back to 2 because it's still about B. Then we move on to C, 1, 2. And when I do that for every single section of every chapter. Um, this is an example. Wait, is this the one? Let's see. I did this yesterday, this section. Okay, yeah, look at this one. Like, this is retailers as channel partners. So I defined retailers. And then there were all these subcategories of all different types of retailers. So it literally went from A to N because there was so many to go through and these are all like vocab words. So they're all underlined and highlighted. But yeah, it went from A all the way down to N. I literally was worried I was gonna run out of alphabet because that's never happened to me before, literally ever in the history of me taking notes. And I was like, what am I gonna do? But luckily it worked out in my favor and it still looks really good. So yeah, this is all the notes that I took this time. This is a previous chapter. As you can see, I take a lot of notes. Sometimes with GoodNotes, it's really easy. Like if I have a graphic that I wanna add into GoodNotes, I'll just take a screenshot on my computer and I'll airdrop it over to my iPad. And then if you just click on this little photo icon right here, there's a bunch of selfies of me right here. Um, if you click on that, it will take up all your recent photos and you can just add it in. It makes life super easy. They have like a bunch of little graphics as well, you know, like little post-it notes if you wanna add those, if you wanna get really cute with it. Honestly, it's a really fun app. I like the way my notes look. I feel like they look really cohesive and just like really good. I'm gonna show you on my other page as well. This is for my other class, Landing in Business, but I did some graphics like this one where I kind of like made the boxes with the shape tool that I showed you and then wrote inside of them. Just looks a lot more streamlined than if I was to be doing this on paper, like a traditional way, but I also made this other graphic that I thought was really cute and I need to find it. This one's cute too, it's like little circles. I don't know, I just am like proud of the fact that I can make them look so cute on here. I think it was actually in this course that I did what I did that I want to show you because it took me a little while. <laughs> like look at my little pyramid, I made that. It's so cute, it definitely took me a little bit longer to figure out, but once you get the learning curve down of taking notes in good notes, you're good. I just use my Apple Pencil and my iPad. I don't have the paper-like screen protector but i really want to get that comment down below if you have it and you like it because i've heard really good things it's supposed to make your ipad feel like um a piece of paper which will make it more natural to like write and everything so if you have one of those let me know if you think i should invest in one okay guys that is how i take notes it's pretty simple but that's the whole basis of it. So hopefully that answered some questions that you guys have. Guys, when I do not style my hair, it is such a hot mess. So I'm really sorry, it looks so terrible right now. But um, I guess I'm gonna go because with that clip that I just recorded, I feel like this vlog is already pushing 40 minutes long, which is a little bit long to just have like as my first video back. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video though and I answered some questions that a lot of you have been wondering about how I take notes on my iPad. Sorry if you hear the noises outside, I don't know what that is, but but hopefully I answered some questions that you guys have about school and everything of the sorts. I feel like I'm finally getting my group back with both channels and school. It's funny, I'm busier now than I ever have been before because of school and like actual legitimate requirements that I have going on in my life. And somehow I'm managing my time better than I was when I had nothing going on. It's like the busier I get, the better I get at like going to the gym every day, uploading on YouTube consistently, uploading on Instagram, doing my schoolwork. But don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm really gonna try and be a good TikToker this month as well. We're just about at April now and I feel like it's gonna be a really good month. I don't know, I'm just excited because it's nicer out. I can finally have my windows open. It feels good. I feel energized. I feel excited. Subscribe here, subscribe to my other channel, follow me on all my socials. Let me know down below what you guys wanna see the most in vlogs, like lifestyle vlogs over here, cause I wanna do what you guys wanna see. So please let me know what you enjoy. Like, did you enjoy this vlog? Even though it was kind of mundane, 
is it okay to upload stuff like this on YouTube anymore? You guys are gonna have to let me know, but I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video very soon.